Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Stand on your word. Now this is very important. Now, you know, back in the day we used to say your word is bond or my word is bond. That's very important for a man, period. Because regardless of what his word is, whether it's right or wrong, he, if it leaves his mouth, he needs to stand on it. And there's nothing wrong with maybe changing it if he acknowledges, you know what? That's why I said earlier, I learned some new stuff. I'm changing it. I, I'm looking at stuff different. As long as he acknowledges it. The problem is if he says something and then changes his mind or changes something later, then act like he didn't say it the first time. That's some bull. If whatever a man believes, he needs to stand on it. Because I'm gonna tell you what, we'll talk about money. And you know, of course I talk about body game or a man will say, well, I got this money or I look this way. But at the end of the day, the only thing a man has 100% is his word, who he is, his beliefs and his ideas. That's the one thing. And the thing is, it's on him. He controls it. Nobody gave it to him. He wasn't born with it. He didn't have to work for it. It's his, well, work for it in the sense like you're working for money. You know, of course, he develops his ideas, his beliefs and everything over his life. But the thing is, he developed it. He developed it. And that's what he has to represent, you know. Coming up, all a man had to do was just shake your hand and that was it. That was represented. I mean, you, there were situations where a man could lose his life if he didn't stand up to his word or something. Because that's all a man has. That ultimately, a man has. And he needs to have a conviction. He needs to be willing to fight for his word. That's how deep it is. That's how deep it is. That's why you have some, you, you still have some men, if you question their integrity, oh, they ready to go to blows with. If you call them a liar, they ready to go to blows with you. That's how deep it is. That's why I would say, if you're going to question somebody's integrity, don't do so unless you're willing to look them in the eye, come with proof of it and everything. Come with proof. Don't just say it. That's how deep it is. See, because a man has to be about his word, a man, and he has to stand on it. Because this is, I'm gonna tell you something now, let's go a little deeper. The body changes, the physicality changes, the money changes, all the outer stuff changes. Ultimately, a man is about what he's inside. What are his beliefs? What are his beliefs? What are the things that represent who he is? What other things he has 100% control over? Because anything can happen to him on the outside. Like say, okay, he, you know, he's built his body up, body game and stuff. What happens if something happens he can't work out for a while? What happens? Or what happens he just decided not to work out as hard? Maybe he put on some weight, maybe he loses the muscle or something. Okay, his body changes. In fact, his body's gonna change over the years anyway. You know, his money, his money is going to change. Hopefully he's working to make more money, but you know, he might go from that guy who's barely making it to a guy who's making seven figures. Okay. But what's in, it changes and you know, that money will go up and down. Everything will go up and down. His relationships, you know, one day, you know, for a couple of years, Hey, he got that strong, solid relationship, even marriage or something. And then all of a sudden he doesn't have that anymore. Or even if he's a player dealing with tons of women, he's, you know, they're going to be different women, in different circumstances. Each relationship is going to be different. But what's the one thing? He has no control over all that outside. He can try to influence it, but he has control over who he is, who his ideas are, because he creates it. Even if, you know, even a religion, he can go to a church, a mosque, a temple, a circle in the woods or something. He can listen to whatever's told to him, but ultimately he has to decide. He has to make those decisions. He has to stand on that because that's, that, that's permanent. That's permanent unless he changes it. Nobody can force how you think. You have to stand on that though. You have to stand. This is what I believe. This is uh, my beliefs, this is my knowledge, however you want to say it, but he has to be ready to protect it. He has to, and if somebody say, well, you said this, yeah, I did. Okay, and? But it's wrong. Okay, tell me why it's wrong. 
You know, I'm still stand on it. Now, like I said, if if it's if he finds out through his own efforts that you know what he's standing on needed to be corrected and everything, then then he just just say, hey, I need to correct that. I give you an example for myself. Okay, you see my books back here, Nice Guys and Players, published in 2000, Sexual Chemistry, published in 2002. There was actually something I said in Nice Guys and Players, though it was correct, and I stand by that, it was in a certain order. I corrected the order in 2002 and said it in the book. I said, you know what, switch it up. Now, they don't say it was wrong, but I learned more and I said, hold up, I need to change this up and stuff. That's it. There's nothing wrong with that. And I still stand by everything I write in my books. Else I wouldn't have written it. And if I'm, t and you know, people can say, well, it's wrong, it's wrong. Okay, show me why. But then I'll stand on saying, you know what? I was, I was corrected in this and I'll stand on it. You know, that's the thing. See, we need more men like that. I'm gonna tell you something now. One of the worst things we have out here are men who don't stand on their words. You can't trust their word, you know? You can't trust them, you know? Word is in bond with many men. They're gonna say one thing and then switch up. They're gonna dance around and everything, but you've been saying the same thing. You should be saying the same thing. And then if you do like change it, then acknowledge, okay, I'm wrong. You know, I learned something new. But don't be like, say one thing and then when challenged on it, say, well, I ain't say that or, you know, well, I'm changing up, you know, just fly by night or whatever. How can a man, how can another man trust that man? You know, and that man, if he doesn't have, if he's wishy-washy, who can, he, he, other men can't t uh, trust him for like as an ally or something. That same man might stab you in the back. And then, you know, of course, I talk about man gets women on, you know, during a week on this channel. One thing women need, they need to be secure with a man. They, I don't care what he look like, he, they got to be secure with him. So if he say, look, I'm a dog, this is what I want. Actually, women respect that more. <laughs> but women respect, women respect a guy say, look, this is all I want from you is sex. You know, this, I'm a dog. This is all I want, I don't want anything else. They don't respect the guy who say, well, I want a relationship and everything, and then as soon as he get the sex, all of a sudden he switches up. That's why a lot of women might deal with the bad guy. That's why they will deal with, they'll deal, they even said it, they'll deal with that bad guy because the bad guy told you straight up what he was and is standing by it. That's how deep it is. That's how deep it is. In fact, many women have said that's why they ain't like the nice guy. He ain't standing for anything. And it's just standing, period. Just standing, period. See, that's the important thing. That is the important thing, whatever it is. I ain't saying that you have to be right or wrong, because we all learning. We are all learning. So that's the thing. And of course, I have <laughs> something, but I'm standing on my word. There's something outside and everything. Y'all might hear it, but I'm standing on what I'm saying. Like even what I talk about, okay, let's use the books again. If people really pay attention, I haven't really changed from uh, what I've been saying for 20 years. I haven't been saying, I've been saying the same thing about your development. Everything I say is related to what I've been talking about. Now, if somebody proved me wrong with some credible evidence, then I'll add something new and say, you know what, I got to change that. In fact, I actually look for reasons to change stuff. I say, okay, let me keep, and everything keeps coming back to what I'm saying. So I stand on my word and stuff. Every single man needs to be that way. You know, you don't follow the crowd or the herd. This is what you believe. This is what you stand on and everything. So, and that's important, just stick with it. And then if you, you decide to change, don't let anybody else change it. If you decide to change, what you stand on is because you decided. And it's not you flip and flop because once you change over, then you gotta stand on that. Even when you change over, you have to stand on your word. So that's a very important thing, all right? So anyway, that's all I have for today. Fellas, stand on your word, 
Okay, don't worry about if it's right or wrong. If it's what you believe down to your core, it's what you believe. We all have our, we all have our truth. There's nothing wrong with standing on it. And if your truth through your, through your investigation shows it needs to be corrected, then you correct it and then stand on that new truth, all right? So that's all I have for today. Get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.